we go then. The first Xbox Series X slash S. Why couldn't they have a better name for it? The first one of those G Freds anyway. We've had a lobby of about 20 people all night racing. Ended up with 19 for a G-Fred, which might be the smallest number we've had for a G-Fred for a long time. The game's doing really well on the new gen platforms. <laughs> oh, what a scumbag! But yeah, this is the first one on Xbox, the new Xbox platforms. Just like we had the first PS5 G-Fred last time. But it's not going to be that much different again, like we were saying, because there's no different traffic or any of, our, any of that. It's just slightly nicer to look at. It is a guaranteed platform record, yeah. We had the PS5 record was set, I suppose, last, uh, last week. But then again, we normally say G-Freds were like stream records aren't allowed to be set if there's less than like 20 20 players i think 25 players maybe just because it's easier to get a car at the start and all that i'm trying it by the way i'm trying to swim <laughs> so i don't think we've got enough players for it to count i mean it will count by default but where did that speed come from excuse me People struggling to get the new platforms. Stupid bushes. Right, Dad Joe. Here's one. So a duck walks into a pharmacy and says, give me some chapstick and put it on my bill. Ah, good dad joke. And there's the rain. The rain was forecast. And there it is. I wonder how long the rain's going to be. Can we have the GTA weather command in the chat? Let's see how long this is going to be. Thank you, Yossi Yan, for the 300 bits, by the way. And Sharpie Man for the 18 months. I rarely read uh, subscriptions and bits and donations and stuff during GFriends anymore, but... I saw them, so I thought I might as well, whilst we're here. 16 minutes! Holy hell! Oh, wow, that's a long rain. That is a long rain. Right. That's like the very tip-top of the longest rain possible, I'm sure. And it's very rare that it's ever that long. The longest rain is normally like 10 minutes or so that we get regularly, at least. There's no rules on which cars you can and can't have it's just this is just a normal g friend it just so happens to be raining so if we someone gets a 9f you know it's going to be op in the wet but it's allowed no oh please haha <laughs> <laughs> scumbags all following me to try and take my car I was gonna go for the Rokoto, but yeah, the Bolo is a better option. Holy moly. What? That was some major lag. <laughs> what kind of lag was that? You know what? A baller in these conditions is a pretty good find. That's Serrano. The Serrano is really quick though. I'm losing a lot of speed early on, but the ball is going to really come into its own later on. It's going to still be raining for Chiliad, so most people, I would imagine, are still going to have to go and do the... Uh, the OG line, but the baller can do the hot lap route in the rain and the snow. Can it do it in the snow? I'm not sure actually, I can't remember. 
I feel like I might have tried it in the snow once, but I can't remember what. It can definitely do it in the rain. I think I'm just going to keep the baller all the way through. I'm going to lose time on the straights to anyone who's got a Serrano, but I think it's the best one to have for the conditions. Top five. Top five is only top quarter. Because we've already got 19 people. <laughs> so Top five in this race isn't as impressive as top five in the full 30 player lobby race. But the only, I would change the baller out for a 9F or an Infernus. I would do that. If I see them, I'm not going to go out looking for them. But if I see them, I would change for that. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep the baller. Even if I see a Sultan, I think I'll just keep the baller. <laughs> Big gaps already, though. I'm 34 seconds behind. Almost 35 seconds behind. Just at the quarry. And I think I saw a baller coming out of the quarry, so someone already had one. Yeah, the rain is set in. And of course, when we do rain threads, or if we've specifically set it to rain, or it's obviously in the snow, the baller is banned now, isn't it? Because it was so... It was just a little bit extra OP in comparison to the other stuff around it. So we're actually using what would normally be a banned car. But this is just regular G-Fred. just happens to be raining, so... We can use whatever we want. Well, apart from bikes, at least. I said I would change it out for this, and that's what I'm doing. Time to destroy a 9F. But that's a bloody good find in these conditions. <laughs> now I've got the speed and the four-wheel drive. Is that a carbon is in the lead? It was the baller that I saw that was in the lead. These are all Serranos. Gotta look after this. We're in with a chance. We're in with a good chance here. This was a very lucky fight. Nice transition for the airport. Even with that change, I'm still about the same amount of time away from the lead, and the lead has changed as I was before. Traffic here. It's a bloody nightmare. I want to make sure I look after this 9F though, I don't want to crash it. And trash it. That's exactly the sort of thing I would do. Alright, we're back in the top five. Decisions are going to have to be made for people in the top four at the minute. Do they take the hot lap route? Do they go the OG route in. traffic okay we're back out of the top five <laughs> got some clean hits there though I think I'm all right well, as all right as I could be few people in the Serranos keeping their Serranos and going for the OG route it looks like. Someone switched out for a baller and is going the hot map route. There's, 
I think there's one other person. Is it one person on the hot lap route I can see on the map? This is going to get interesting. There's no other 9Fs that I'm seeing spawn. Oh, thunder as well. These are proper difficult conditions for this G-Fred. First Xbox Series X and S G-Fred in thunderous conditions. Actually, it's three people, I think, have gone the hot lap route. Do they all have vehicles that can make it? They might have changed into something that can make it. Now, like these three could all be in 9Fs for all I know. Someone's taking a different route. There are some new routes up Chiliad that have sort of been discovered that might be better to do in the rain than the OG route if you've got a, you know, a car that can't do the hot map route. So I think a few people are... Well, there's at least one. Verdolith is taking one of those routes that might be more safe than the hot lap route if you have a car that can't handle the hot lap route. But it's also quicker than the OG route. A bit of experimentation going on with those lines at the minute. I don't know any of them, of course, because I don't practice G for it. <laughs> My practice is what you see in these races. Let's see how the how the ascent on Chiliad goes. Do you know what? This is I haven't done this in a long time. A 9F up Chiliad in the rain. Because of course, every time it's been rain or snow, we've always banned the 9F if we've set it specifically to be rain. Oh, Draki's having issues already. He's gone back down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the baller is the only thing that can make it up apart from the all-wheel drive sports cars. Yeah, Mr. Darkside still in his baller that he had from the start, I think, but the 9 f This is why we ban the 9F and the Infernus and the Sultan and also the baller now if we do a rain Fred or a snow Fred. Because it's just... It's in a different league. There's Verdolith coming up on the right-hand side on the bottom of the map there. That was a good route for him. He's come up in second. So it's not as quick as the hot lap route. But if you don't have... A car that can do the hot lap route. Or oh, you've got a car like the baller that's going to be slow up the hot lap route. There are other options that aren't just the OG line. Alright, I'm in a 9F so I'm going to keep it nice and controlled. Got a, I've got a keep this 9F in good condition. This isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. Please, please, for the love of... Oh yeah, close the door. Bloody on the roof and he's closing the bloody door on me. Oh, yeah, closing the door did a lot of good now that it's gone. I cannot believe this. Stop for God's sake, man. This is bloody painful. The 9F, me and the 9F in Gfred is absolutely cursed. Have I ever gotten a 9F in a Gfred? Well, I think I have. I set the stream record in a 9F, I think, if I can remember, but 90% of the time that I get a 9F in a Gfred, I have a bad time. 
the train up. I got away with that. That that didn't explode or have a much big crash. Not many people crashing in the tunnel. Beautiful. Right, oh, yeah, coming down the wrong side. Beautiful. They're having to wait on that end. Also beautiful. for me to get out right. all right we're still in with the chance we're still in the fight first place is just up the road we've got a 9f still it's gonna be good on the route to the observatory it's just a little hitch mr. dark side in his dependable baller and then verdeleth in that coquette I think it is Dependable baller. I, I can just jinx anybody, can't I? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. <laughs> Holy bolly. that a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, Vedlith's gone for the, the solid line, the difficult line in his core kit and it hasn't worked out for him. That was a risky move in a non all-wheel drive car. Maybe he thought he had enough speed with his core kit. Alright, we're fighting for the win. We're back. Yeah, that core kept behind. I must have the only 9F in the entire race. I'm not seeing any spawn anywhere else. I've trashed it, mind, of course, as I always do. Now I've got a decision to make. Box tree. Oh, I got it. The Hail Mary has not been kind to me lately. Oh, this 9F is trashed as well. Five seconds is all I've got though. This Hail Mary is going to fail the night. The, the, this Hail Mary is going to fail the night. This 9F is going to fail the Hail Mary. I've got to put Verdelith to the, the decision. He's going to have to make the decision for himself. And if he gets it, fair play. I think this was the right decision. I've been not making this decision quite a lot lately when I should have done. In the last few G-Freds it would have been better for me. Going the safe route and I haven't. This time I'm actually going to do it. In the nine, I'm in a 9F as well so it's going to be good up this route also. I think it's not going to be a slouch getting up the hill. So it's going to have to be a perfectly executed Hail Mary from Verdeleth. But I couldn't risk it. The, the 9F would have failed it. It's, it's too trashed. Alright. Away we go. Let's see how it turns out. It's been a long time since I've done this route. They're both going for it, Verdeleth and Mr. Darkseid. Yeah, this will be for the stream record, by virtue of it being the only Xbox race. <laughs> oh, it 
it's close. I think I, you always have the um, the extra speed of doing it this way, though, so... It's close between them two, but I think I've got it. It's been a while. This has been, been an up-and-down G-Fred as well. There we go. That was a good G-Fred. Finally got a win for the first time in a while. I, I have the stream record for Xbox Series X and S by virtue of it being the only race we've done on Xbox X Series X and S. <laughs> well, I'll take that. Thanks for the GGs. That was a very interesting G-Fred, that one, with the rain and then the no rain and then the 9F being the pretty much the only person to find a 9F, I think. And... Yeah, it was, it was, I still made errors and it didn't treat the 9F right and had to play the safe, play the safe route. Ers is having a bad time. <laughs> Close between Verdolith and Mr. Darkside for second and third though. Do you know what? I think taking the safe route actually gained me time. It looks like Verdolith and Mr. Darkside both lost time because Verdolith was only five seconds behind me after the observatory, so... You know, the Hail Mary, it's not a guarantee that you're always going to be the quickest doing it quick. And yeah, I think that was the right decision. I'm happy. Thanks for the GGs. I'll take that. First G-Fred win for a while. Finally made a right decision at the end.